I'm Andrew Free Andrew Talks. I'm ready to talk and I hope you're ready to listen. The pen is in hand. Let's go. This week is all about Hollywood. Old versus new Hollywood. In the olden days, it was black and white and fur coats. Now it's color and paparazzi. And we're traveling back in time and into the future, hanging out with some big celebrities, and it's all next. I'm here at the one and only Grove, the Grove here in Los Angeles, hanging out with my friends Mario Lopez of Extra and Ellen DeGeneres. They did an interview, and I stopped by to get a few clips for you guys. I hope you enjoy. some handprints and footprints of the stars from yesteryear and of today. Some really great stuff, some neat history you can find only here at the Man Chinese Theater. Check it out. Tom Hanks shoes. Ha ha ha. I don't know if you can make this one out, but this one is of Denzel Washington. Pretty cool. So cool, check it out, the Man Chinese Theater, which is still an operating theater to this day. Started back in the 1920s, pretty cool. So you can come out to Hollywood, catch a um, flick up today in the old school theater of the Man Chinese Theater. From So now we did a little old Hollywood, we did a little new Hollywood, back to some more new Hollywood. We're gonna check out the Kodak Theater, which is next, which is actually right next door to the Man Chinese Theater. You know the Kodak Theater, you see it every year at the Oscars, and um, right now they're housing Cirque du Soleil's big show, Iris, for um, a couple of years to come. So it's a big, big deal over here at the Kodak Theater. Let's check it out and find out um, what that's all about. Up next. Hey, pop quiz. Do you know the Best Picture no winners? Best Picture winners from 1969, 68, and 67. Quick, no cheating, no Googling. 
All right, I'm here to show you the answers. For 1969, it was Midnight Cowboy. For 1968, it was Oliver. And for 1967, it was In the Heat of the Night. How do I know that, you ask? Okay, I cheated. You better not have. I cheated because it's listed for us here at the Kodak Theater. One of the most amazing architectural details of the theater is that it has every winner of Best Picture. Take a look at this. 1969, Midnight Cowboy. 1968 Oliver and in 1967 the best picture winner was in the heat of the night how cool is that now for something that you just don't want to miss I'm gonna give you a sneak peek to the staircase the staircase that all the Oscar nominees and soon-to-be winners take every year every year take a look at this majestic scene so my friends here is the majestic staircase that the nominees and soon to be winners of the Oscar take a And who won Best Picture for uh, the year 2030? Anybody? Anybody? Yeah, I don't know either. But maybe I'll be in it. And maybe you'll see me in the theaters in 2030 and see me win the award for Best Picture or Best Actor or Best Supporting Actor, whatever the case may be. And they will put it up right here in the Kodak Theater. Still room to grow, still room to go. Check a look at this. Still some empty spots to be filled It's time in. for shout outs, my friends. Shout outs! Shout outs to several, several people this week on Andrew Talks. First of all, shout out to Extra, Let It Andrew Film. And you might check check me out, see if I'm on Extra uh, in the upcoming days with Ellen and Mario. How cool would that be? Shout out to Mario Lopez. He was really, really kind to the audience and had a lot of fun with us. And of course to Ellen for being there and just being awesome, just being Ellen. Also, big shout out to the city of Hollywood for housing all this great movie history at our fingertips, at our doorstep, no less, especially for me and the crew here at Android or Andrew Trucks. Too, too cool. So shout out, shout out to Extra, to Mario, to Ellen, and to the city of Hollywood. Couldn't have done it without you this week. Thank you. Now it's time for the real talk, real talk moment of the week. And the real talk moment is simply new versus old. We were discussing old Hollywood at the Man Chinese Theater. And now we're talking about new Hollywood here at the beautiful Kodak Theater and over at, at the Grove at, with Extra. But to be quite honest, and I think we probably all know this, there's, there's no, nothing better. Not one is better than the other. Whether you're new to some place, you get to discover and find out about it for the first time, or if you're an old pro at it, you've been there forever, you know the ins and outs, the great places that maybe people would have missed. So there really is nothing better um, comparatively versus new versus old. It's just different, but it's all wonderful and it's all welcome. So make sure you learn your history regarding everything from movies to the world so that way we don't repeat our mistakes. Amen to that. Yes. And if you're new, great. That's awesome. You can discover new stuff, find out new things about yourself and the world. New versus old. It really isn't a competition. It's all one great, wonderful experience. So wouldn't you agree? I'm glad you do. All right, that's the real talk moment of the week. I hope you have enjoyed our journey of new versus old, old versus new when it comes to Hollywood. And um, it's, it's the end of the show, guys. I'm sorry. It's the end. It's the end. So you know what I always say. Make it great. I got to go. The crew and I got to go. We got to put the show together so you can watch it. But have a great morning. Have a great evening. Have a great lunch. Just make it great. Make it great. We will see you next time. I'm Andrew for Andrew Talks. Bye, everybody. I got to go.